Hey guys, how's it going? Zach here from Reptile Creation, and tonight I'm in the reptile room. I got a bit of news for you guys. I said in one of my last videos that I was going to be uh, doing a video every Friday, and that was it. Uh, I am actually going to try and do even more than that. I'm going to make sure I have a really good video for you guys every Friday from here on out, but I'll probably do some uh, quick little updates and things like that throughout the week. Um, other than Fridays, so you can rely on a video every Friday, but I'll definitely be doing some other stuff. But other than that, tonight, tonight I'm just going to share with you guys my plans for my breeder projects this year. I've got uh, kind of three different projects that I want to work on. Um, some of it I started working on last year, and some of it I haven't even begun to do anything with. I've only gotten the geckos this year, but I'm going to get all them out. I'm going to put them on this little table that I have set up right here. And then I'll just go through each pairing and tell you guys about the pair and exactly what I'm hoping to do. All right, guys. So first up here we have Indica and Gator. Um, Indica is my high yellow hypo carrot tail. She's She was the first gecko I got and uh, also the reason I started with this pairing just because uh, she was the reason I got into keeping reptiles and... That's why I'm breeding leopard geckos now. Um, but he is a G project. He's a nice big 90-something uh, gram male. Uh, do, does real great, never refuses food. He's a fantastic gecko. And definitely one of my favorites. Um, I paired these guys off last year, and I got, uh, I got a few geckos from them and I've got a couple keepers that I'm gonna grab here and show you that I, I'll be uh, breeding back to him eventually. Uh, so here are the two babies from 2014 that were from that pairing. I'm really happy with the uh, the colors on them. I did get more babies from that pairing but I think these are the ones that I'll be breeding in the project to uh, continue on developing some more uh, color in my geckos. So that's that project and I'll move on to the next one. All right guys, so this next project, um, this girl here, sh I got her um, from the same place that I got my other, my first gecko. Um, and she was sold to me as a Max Snow, but I do believe she's a, kind of got some high yellow uh, genes in her as well. And then I paired her last year with my Bell Albino George. And he's a nice, thick, healthy boy, and I'm quite happy with uh, the results because I got one baby that I was very excited about. And I'm just gonna grab that baby out right now. So from the first pairing of her and George, the Bell Albino, they produced this little girl. And she looks just like a bell albino everywhere except in the pigment in her eyes. So I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for uh, what happened because I, I assumed I needed two bell albinos to get this pigmentation out of the gecko. But uh, because I was so certain that uh, it definitely is a bell albino... Uh, uh, in its genes, I'm definitely going to continue this as a project so I can get some Bell Albino babies as soon as this one's big enough to breed, which I'm hoping will be this year, but I do believe it'll probably be the next breeding season. Oh, and she's not ovulating right now, so I'll not let that happen. <laughs> So now on to the last one, which is a new thing for you guys. You haven't seen this yet before. I might have shown off uh, one or two little sneak peeks of those geckos. So here we go. All right. So this project I'm really excited to share with you guys. I just picked these ge geckos up uh, late in 2014. And uh, I'm going to just show you the male because uh, the female is going through a shed, as you can see. She usually has colors a little bit more like this. They are a pair of Trimper Albino Giant Jungles. And this is a, you know, 
a fantastic thing for me. Um, I first, when I was looking into getting into keeping leopard geckos, when I first got indica, and I started to do research, um, these were the geckos that I loved the most. I, I just love the the Tremper albinos. They're fantastic looking geckos. And the uh, the idea of keeping giants was definitely a priority for me. And then the uh, aberrant kind of pattern you get from a jungle is also something that I just love in the geckos. It's one of my favorite pattern mutations, so to to have all those genetics in a project is uh is just super super exciting for me. This girl right here, despite being in shed, um she is about 45 grams now. Um the breeding season's still a few months away and I I'm hoping to have her fattened up nicely for that uh as soon as I see the signs, I'll be pairing these guys off. So those are my plans for the 2015 breeding season. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and who knows, maybe if you live in Canada, you'll be able to order some geckos from me later this year or maybe next year. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys are in Canada and want to buy geckos from me. And have a good one, guys.